Jungkook walked downstairs. His steps were fast. He entered in the living room searching for his watch as he was already getting late for his work. He was already looking frustrated as he went through all the drawers and shelves. Meanwhile, you were sitting on the couch enjoying a favorite TV show right in the morning. Pretending not to notice his difficulty, it was all just to piss him a little more. Where did I put that damn watch? He muttered to himself while opening the drawers but didn't find his watch while you were trying to control your smile. You knew he won't ask you because you both had a little fight before sleeping last night. Looking for something dear? You asked casually as he tried to remain composed, a little relieved also that you finally asked. Yeah, my watch. Have you seen it? Oh, I can't say I have it. Uh, maybe you left it in the bathroom again? You said acting innocent. He sighed. I already checked there. It's not there. You spit, enjoying the small victory of teasing him indirectly. Well, it must be playing hide and seek with you then. You teased him. He looked at you annoyed. Already he was late and you were playing with him. Very funny. Instead of just talking here, mind giving me a hand? I want to but I have works to finish because I have my nail appointment. I hate to leave you to your treasure hunt but keep finding Sherlock. You'll get success. And you walk away controlling your smile. Jungkook shook his head and sighed. This woman surely knows how to take advantage of the situation. This freaking watch. It will get me late. He again started his search alone. Now he was regretting fighting with you because you would have helped him. But now you won't even though he said sorry but you never settle things easily. You walked in the kitchen, smile plastered on your face as you really enjoyed teasing him. Your eyes fell on the watch resting on the dining table while the owner is looking for it everywhere. You picked it while a mischievous glint in your eyes. Let's play a little bit. You walk towards the living room. You came in the living room where your dear husband was still in search of his watch. Can't believe that it's been more than a year you guys are living a married couple life but still you behave like high schoolers. There is full drama, love, romance, bickering and pulling each other's leg and that's how your love is still blooming. He's a nice guy now, he loves you so much but there was a time in high school when he never even looked at you. In fact, he once bullied you for how you look. You both used to hate each other but now you guys are a married couple and love each other very much but still bicker and fight. Look what I have found. Jungkook stopped and looked at you before straightening up. My watch. Where was it? Maybe she is also tired of you and wanted time away from you. You teased while he rolled his eyes before coming near you. You have a lot of fun. Now give it to me. I have gotten late already. He frowned when you had the watch behind your back. Not that easily. He sighed. Why and please, I'm late. It's not the time for all this. You shrugged your shoulders. I don't care. Okay, fine. Ask me politely. Request me so that I can give it to you. You know what I mean, right? He shook his head in disbelief. You just want a chance. You widened your eyes. Before saying anything, remember I have your watch and you are getting late. He sighed giving up. Fine, Mrs. John Wyan. My love, my sweetheart, the light of my life. Can you please give me my watch? I'm getting late. Although you wanted to enjoy this drama a little more but he was getting late and you don't want that so you decided to give him the watch. Okay, take it. Thank you very much, he said sarcastically while taking it. No problem, dear. He shook his head and chuckled softly. And what is this laugh for? He looked at you and shook his head. Nothing, I'm leaving. You are wearing your tie wrong. Really? Can you fix it? You knew he did it purposely so you can fix it. Another day of proof that you can't do one thing right without me. You said coming near him and started fixing his tie while he was watching you with a smile on his face. 
I can but I just don't want to. You looked at him as a blush appeared on your face. You don't try to pretend that you love me. Do I need to pretend? I already love you. You raised your brow. Oh really? How come this popular guy confessed that he loves me? I still remember that day. Oh Ryan, I think you'll never let go of this topic until we grow old. That was years ago. You still bring that topic again and again. Why not? You still irritate me the same way. And yes, I'm gonna bring that topic again. Do you have a problem? No, even if I have a problem, I won't say anything. Now, if you are done, can I go to work? You fixed his coat and nodded while he leaned closer and kissed her forehead. Thank you very much. I love you. You couldn't stop your smile. Okay, once again, and I admit that I'm a great wife. He chuckled and nodded. Well, I guess I'll have to make it up to you then. How about I cook dinner tonight? Your eyes widened in surprise. Well, that sounds perfect, but only if you promise not to burn the kitchen down this time. Jungkook laughs, his heart swelling with affection for the woman who knows him better than anyone else. Deal, I'll even throw in dessert. I'll wait for the night desperately. He smiled and looked at you. I won't make you wait for long. He pegged your cheek and left leaving you smiling. It all started so chaotic. You both used to hate each other, not wanted to marry but once it happened, all your feelings, the way you both look at each other, everything has changed now and now you are a happy couple who sometimes bicker just to maintain that adventure in your life. Jungkook came into his office and sat at his desk while there was a slight smile on his face. He couldn't throw away the incident from the morning. Sometimes, sorry, your cute activities flatters him. He turned on the screen of his computer and the wallpaper appeared showing your and his picture taken during a trip. He smiled as he remembered the moment. This is still hard to believe that you both were each other's enemies. None of you like each other and now. You guys are a married couple who love each other more than anything. This woman was in my destiny all this time and this is how we were meant to meet. I'm still paying for the bullying I did in innocence but I think I deserve this. Now she bully me each and every day and I can't even complain. He said with a chuckle. I wonder what she is doing now. He said taking out his phone from the pocket. Here comes the brand new dish of this cafe. You guys are late to become the first taste testers. This recipe has launched and customers current favorite and most ordered item. She says serving the food on the table and then took a seat beside you. I was so busy in office yesterday so I couldn't make it. I'm sorry that you guys had to cancel the plan because of me. You all waved your hands. It's not like it was very important as long as we are here to spend time in peace, any time or day would work. All your friends agreed with you. It's been long since we have gathered together like this. You all nodded agreeing with her. Your laughter filling the cozy cafe that belongs to one of your friend Nancy and you all gather here whenever you all meet together. So, spill the tea, Ryan. How's married life treating you? Your smile widened as you think of Jungkook, your heart feeling light despite the challenges you have faced. Uh, honestly, it's better than I expected. Jungkook and I have had our ups and downs, but we are learning to navigate this new chapter together. And how's Mr. Jungkook doing in the husband department? She said teasingly. You chuckled thinking of Jungkook's effort to make this marriage work. Past was past. None of you were aware that you guys will end up together in the future. Well, Mr. Husband is trying his best. He's still paying for what he has started. And they all burst into laughter. You should stop teasing now. Poor man still paying for that day. I just like teasing him. He acts cute that way. 
honestly speaking i was so surprised first i got to know about your marriage i was like how the hell she got agreed but now i have changed my mind completely i'm so happy that you guys are going well well yes and you know we had a little argument last night you know all those stupid things that doesn't even need that much attention but don't know how we find a way out to argue about them and i wasn't talking so he helped me with dishes without asking me and apologized i was so surprised oh that's so sweet i love your story you guys just have become couple goals You chuckle and took a sip of your coffee. Your friends exchange knowing glances, happy to see you finding happiness in your married life. Meanwhile, back at the office, Jungkook taken a moment to stretch his legs. His eyes flickering over the bustling workspace around him. Just then, his phone buzzes with a text message from you. Just finished catching up with the girls. Heading to my nail appointment now. Need anything on my way back? Jungkook smiled at the message, grateful for the reminder of your thoughtfulness even in the middle of your busy day. Just you. Can't wait to see you later. He typed the message but was struggling whether to send you or not, but ended up sending the message and smiled. Later in the evening Jungkook came back from the office as he was so much exhausted and just wanted to relax but then he remembered his promise to you. Welcome home. You look tired today. Did you have a lot of work? You said taking the bag from his hand while he loosened his tie and dropped himself on the couch. Yes. Why and can I get a glass of water? You put the bag on the couch and went to the kitchen before coming back with a glass of water and gave it to him. Here. Thank you. He took the glass and gulped it down while you sat on the couch beside him. You should freshen up and relax for some time. By that time I'll make something to eat. He shook his head and got up. Today I promise you to make dinner. I'll do that. Not in this exhaustion. You're already tired. You can fulfill your promise some other day. He looked at you and shook his head. That would be a relaxing time for me to cook something for my lovely, cute and picky wife. He blushed but his hit his arm playfully. What do you mean by picky? He chuckled. You know what I mean. Okay, I'll go and freshen up quickly. Then I'll start. Okay. You nodded while he walked upstairs. You were watching him with amusement as your great husband rolled up his sleeves and started gathering the ingredients. You were curious to know what he's cooking, but he straight up denied to tell you until it is ready. He was moving around the kitchen doing multiple things at a time still very professionally and was looking like he's in a master chef challenge. You were admiring him leaning against the kitchen counter while chewing on a carrot. I never knew you were such a pro in the kitchen. You said teasingly while he showed you a playful grin over his shoulder. Oh, you haven't seen anything yet, sweetheart. Just wait until you taste my cooking. He said with a smirk. You laughed enjoying the banter while sipping on a glass of wine. You never gave me that chance, but should I be worried of setting off the fire alarm? Jungkook rolled his eyes while continuing to do his work. Just wait for a while. You'll be stuffing that pretty mouth of yours with the food that and will still ask for more. This made you chuckle. Let's see. Then you picked up your phone while scrolling through YouTube to know what recipe he's actually cooking. You were enjoying this playful time with him as that's how you guys have come closer within a year of this arranged marriage. You know, they say the key to a successful meal is having good sauce, chef. He said with a smirk while you look up from your phone, raising an eyebrow at him. 
Oh, is that why you are staring at me instead of focusing on the cooking? You said playfully. Jungkook chuckled, his cheeks tinted with a hint of embarrassment. Guilty as charged, but seriously, any chance you want to lend a hand? Hmm, I suppose I could be persuaded. What's in for me? You said pretending to consider while Jungkook flashes your mischievous grin, his eyes sparkling with mischief. The satisfaction of knowing you helped create a masterpiece, of course. You laugh, unable to resist his charm as you join him at the stove, eager to lend a hand in whatever way you can. It would be an actual masterpiece when I give my hand. You know a woman's touch always makes things better. You said looking at him with the corner of your eyes while he burst into a chuckle. Even though the kitchen was a mess, almost all the utensils came out of the cupboards. But what was more important was that you guys were enjoying very much, laughing and playing while cooking the dinner. As Jungkook and you sit down to enjoy the meal Jungkook has prepared, the aroma of the stir fry fills the air, tempting your taste buds with its delicious scent. He serves you generous portion and begin to eat. The clinking of utensils against the plates, the only sound in the cozy kitchen. Jungkook takes a bite, savoring the flavors before looking at you with a grin. So, what do you think? He asks with a mouthful. You took a moment to savor the flavor, your eyes lightening up with delight as you taste the dish. It's amazing Jungkook, you have already outdone yourself this time. Jungkook's smile widened at your praise, a sense of satisfaction washing over him. Thanks, I'm glad you like it. Then you continue to eat in contented silence for a while. The only sound, the occasional hum of satisfaction from one or another. You break the silence as you think of something. You know, moments like these, just the two of us, they mean everything to me. Jungkook looked at you, his eyes warm with affection. They mean everything to me to Wyan. I cherish every moment we spend together. Your eyes met and in that moment you both shared an understanding moment. You sat down your fork and look at Jungkook, your expression soft with affection. You know, I was thinking about our journey together. Jungkook tilted his head, curious about where your thoughts are leading. Oh, what about it? Just how far we have come from high school rivals to this moment right here sharing a meal that you cooked for us. He nodded recalling the history. Yeah, it's been quite the journey, hasn't it? But I wouldn't change a thing. You reaches across the table and takes Jungkook's hand in yours, your gaze meeting his with warmth and sincerity. Me neither. Every challenge we have faced, every obstacle we have overcome, it all led us to this beautiful moment together. Jungkook squeezes your hand gently, his heart swelling with love for the woman sitting across from him. I'm grateful for every moment with you, Wyan. You have brought so much joy and love into my life. Hmm, but if you think I'll stop taking revenge for what you did in the start, you will be delusional. You ended up making him laugh as he nodded. I'm okay with that. To be honest, if you stop acting that way, then I would be worried and will think that you have stopped loving me. Even our kids will get to know about that, but to be honest, Wyan, now you're the most gorgeous woman in my life. I mean, you were always, I was the one with that defect in my mind, but now no other woman can beat my wife's beauty. Stop buttering me up now. I'm telling you the truth, I swear. He squinted your eyes. I swear, believe me. He started acting like a kid wanting to make you believe that he's being honest. You chuckle. I know and I accept it. Now let's finish it up and clean the table. He looked at you with a mischievous smile on his face. Yes, now it's your time to give me a reward. After all, I did so much hard work. Your eyes widened when you realized what he meant. You pervert, stay away from me. He laughed. <laughs>